Say hi, guys. Hi, hey. guys. All right, so we're currently waiting on Dad to get some gas so that we can go to the hotel. Um, we've been on the road for just a little bit, probably a little bit after the kids got out of school. Um, this Tonight, we're going to stay in a hotel, and tomorrow, we catch a flight to New York. And we're going to be there for the rest of the day. 2019. Yes. We won't come back to Texas until 2020. So we're going to take you guys along with us on this trip, right? Yes. yes. All right, look at Daddy. He's coming back from getting the gas. everyone uh, it's travel day uh, we're headed out to the airport here shortly um, but uh, just to give you an update I know I did a, a video earlier on how to pack for spirit um, unfortunately that didn't work out uh, because I wasn't aware that it was like $49 for my bag and then $54 for everyone else's bag each. I thought it was just $54 and then I get everyone else's bag. But uh, yeah, it was gonna be like almost $250, $260 before tax. Um, so what we ended up doing was just finding one big box, packing our stuff in it and shipping it at UPS for like 120, 125, something like that, I forgot. Um, so instead of paying 256, 260 to send our clothes with us on the plane and then another 260 to come back, yeah, I just paid the 130 plus 130. So that was that. Uh, so all we have is our personal stuff. So we're about to head out here shortly go get this uh, shuttle and head out to the airport. You ready? ready. All right. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Give you an update. We made it through airport security, didn't set off any metal detectors. Uh, I thought I was. I had my note ready for the doctor, but everything was good. I was able to make it through. Uh, and all I had was just my backpack. Everything else already got shipped, so no baggage claim once we get off. Good to go. That's the fam over there. Alright, we'll update later. Alright you guys, we really didn't do a great job of vlogging from this point forward just because we were so excited to be around my husband's family, our family, and just soaking in the experience in itself. Just being able to be with them and just being present in the moment so we don't really have a lot of talking at this point it was kind of like a, oh no we need to like show what we're doing type of situation because we truly were just cherishing the moment and like soaking in the experience and just living in the present and so I tried to remember to take a couple shots here and there just so that I can like say hey look this is what we did for the day and, and have it for memory's sake as well like I mean be able to look back and say hey we did this but yeah, so at this moment, we are, um, we were at this place, I don't even remember what it was called, I'm sorry guys, um, if I remember, I'll insert that in the description box, 
but they had a lot of live music, different places that you could eat in. And we were in Philly at this point, and it was really cool. Like they have a market. Um, and this experience was cool too because we've never had an authentic Philly cheesesteak. My husband's never had a Philly cheesesteak, so it was pretty cool to be able to experience that and cross it off the bucket list as far as our trip was concerned. And it was good. And so this was just a cool moment of them making it, like actually seeing the experience and tasting the experience. So getting the whole shebang. So here we saw a nightmare before Christmas bus. That was really unexpected, an unexpected treat during the trip because I mean, it, it wasn't something we planned on doing or seeing. And so seeing that was pretty cool. And we were able to actually go on to the bus and take a couple pictures. And so that was a nice added bonus on the trip to Philly. We made it to the Liberty Bell. This was the main reason for the trip, or part of the main reason for the trip, the Philly cheesesteaks and then the bell itself. This was a super cool experience. It had more stuff than I was even anticipating seeing, such as all of this, honestly. Like, I really just thought we were gonna go there and it was a bell and it was the end, but it was pretty cool to look at all of the things that it had to offer. And so, just want to share that experience with you guys as well. I also want to jump in right here to say how clutch my sister in love is. Like not only did she get us tickets to come out here, but she stood in line so that we could cut in front of all those people <laughs> in order to see the Liberty Bell.
all right so here is self-explanatory we were on the way to see santa and go to like a winter wonderland type situation y'all we really just been enjoying being around family and enjoying the moment and just the experience so sorry we're not more present in the vlog as far as saying what we're doing but we really did have a good time And the grand finale is that all three kids got to see Santa. I'm so excited the kids were able to experience this with their cousin. I mean, they're so close, so this was a cool moment. I'm glad we were able to capture it. Thanks for watching.